Hello and welcome to my studio. I'm Richard Harvey. Um, I'm going to show you a new addition to my collection today. This is an Indian zither called the Swamandal. It's mainly used by singers yeah. to give themselves a, a reference point. And it, well, it's a kind of drone. Um, sometimes they play the tanpura, the big tall yeah, drone yeah. instrument. It's, it's but actually, the start, music yeah. is light, and, and particularly for female singers, this is just whenever they need a hint of, of where they are in the, in the tonality. But it's actually tuned to the scale or raga that's being used at the time. This one has the raga which has the, the fourth tuned that little bit higher. And um, it's a, actually a very old instrument. Uh, it's been used for centuries in Indian music. And I've been talking to my dear friends from Orchestral Tools about where we might go in the world of Indian music because some instruments are quite difficult to sample, not, dare I say, not impossible, <laughs> but other instruments will immediately give you the tonality and the atmosphere of Indian music. And uh, in a, it, let's say in a way that's really practical and usable. This is one of those instruments. That I'm actually demonstrating it because I'm very proud to just take delivery of it a few days ago when I was working in India. And this was made specially for me. And it's a very beautiful piece of teak with these lovely little metallic tuners down here, which you tune it up here, but of course you can do little elements of fine tuning sort of on the fly down here. It's got a three octave range and the keynote of the, the rag is always available to you here. Just as a pair of strings always tuned to the same and then you'll notice that there are actually more strings than you need for that three octave range and that's because the important notes in the raga are actually duplicated. Sometimes you even get three strings all tuned to the same note. But uh, I don't know whether it's because they're relatively easy to play, but I really love zithers. Uh, zithers, harps, psalteries, dulcimers, I absolutely love them and I can't stop collecting them. And so, and so this is a really lovely one to have. You could say, well, this is a bit like an auto harp, but having those extra strings where you get that duplication is what makes it sound authentically Indian and, and why it's such a wonderfully atmospheric accompaniment to singing or something like a soft bansari flute or a gentle sarangi solo. Even with the tampura droning away beneath it, it's, it's just a lovely texture. <laughs> Actually, you do hear this sound quite a lot in uh, what we like to call Bollywood film scores, um, just in the scores from good Indian movies. Um, the sound quality in these scores is, is very much better than they always were. And uh, it's a sign of the kind of subtlety that's coming into these scores that, that you can hear this instrument quite a bit. Um, it, it always used to be rather loud and rather brash and, 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 and fairly incessant, but now there's a lot of light and shade, and this is a really key instrument in that art form. And I think they'll probably find, it'll probably find a place for itself in Western film schools, because it, it's entirely dependent how you tune it uh, to the atmosphere that it creates for you. I'm certainly going to be looking to use it in a, in a film soon because I just love playing it and love the sound of it. Thank you very much for watching. Mm -hmm.